What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B Boy Fast Giant TV, and tonight I'll go with my WWE Raw review on high. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Now, let's get started. Now, Monday Night Raw gets a 5 out of 10, and that's all I gotta say. So, we go to there, now, forever, together. The WWE video leads us into the show. We go backstage to see an SUV pulling into the arena earlier today. Jimmy, Us Jimmy Uso, Sol Sequoia, and Paul Heyman step out. Paul Heyman says that Roman Reigns was very expected on SmackDown to solve the Sami Zayn problem. But Sami Zayn escaped and is, and is here in Boston tonight. Whether or not his brother comes to his sense, um, Jimmy Uso will solve the Sami Zayn problem, just like Solo Sequoia will solve the Kevin Owens problem. They walk off without Paul Heyman behind them. Paul Heyman tells his phone, tell, tells his phone to call Roman Reigns. John Cena returns on Raw tonight. Trish Stratus will also be with the new WWE. Women's Tag Team Champions, Becky Lynch and Lita. Seth Freakin' Rollins and Logan Paul will also be face-to-face. -face. Finally, Sami Zayn will face Jimmy Uso. Okay, so we get Kevin Owens versus Solo Sequoia. This match was fine for what it was. As Solo Sequoia enters the ring, Kevin Owens viciously attacks him. The bell has not rung. Kevin Owens sends him into the barricade and punches away at, at him. So Sequoia reverses a whip into the ring post, and Kevin Owens hits hard. So Sequoia punches away at Kevin Owens and sends him hard into the ring post again. Kevin Owens rolls into the ring. The referee rings the bell to start the match. Kevin Owens spears So Sequoia and punches away at him. So Sequoia sends him into the ropes and hits a back elbow. So Sequoia stomps away at him before choking him on the ropes. Kevin Owens fights back and hits the ropes, but Solo Sequoia hits a spinning wheel kick. Solo Sequoia punches away at Kevin Owens and kicks him in the spine. Kevin Owens punches him back, but Solo Sequoia quickly floors him with a stiff right hand for a one count. Kevin Owens punches him, but it's only upsets Solo Sequoia who, kick, who kicks him down. Solo Sequoia stomps away at the prize fighter. So Sequoia tries to drag him to the center of the ring, but Kevin Owens holds the ropes. Solo Sequoia stumps the mix session. So Sequoia rakes the eyes in the corner. Kevin Owens kicks him back and punches him. Kevin Owens hits the ropes, but So Sequoia turns him turns him inside out with the kitchen sink knee to the mix session. Kevin Owens actually took a low blow there. So Sequoia hits a falling head butt for a two count. So Sequoia applies a, a weird chin lock. Kevin Owens quickly fights up and punches punches out. So Sequoia reverses a whip, but he lowers his head and eats a kick. Kevin Owens hits two clotheslines that that don't take So Sequoia down. Kevin Owens stumps the barefoot and kicks him before talking before taking him down with a clothesline and hitting a senton splash. Kevin Owens gets fired up for a cannonball in the corner, but So Sequoia gets out of the ring. Kevin Owens follows him out and clotheslines him down. Kevin Owens climbs to the top rope. Jimmy Uso quickly runs down to the runs down to ringside and distracts Kevin Owens. So Sequoia slams Kevin Owens off the ropes. So Sequoia smashes him in the corner with a running hip attack. Kevin Owens rolls out of the ring, and So Sequoia hits a running hip, hip attack into the lead barricade. So we go to commercial break. Picture in picture commercial break. So Sequoia grabs Kevin Owens and puts him in the ring. So Sequoia takes, him, takes his time and stalks the injured, injured Kevin Owens. So Sequoia chokes him on the ropes until the referee... Demolish him. Jimmy Uso, Jimmy Uso then punches Kevin Owens in the face. So Sequoia uses the ropes to hit a big stump on big stump to Kevin Owens mid session. 
Kevin Owens soon starts to fight back. But so Sequoia levels him with a nasty right hand. So Sequoia chokes him on the ropes before the referee yells at him. Kevin Owens then takes him out with a super kick. Both men are down. Kevin Owens gets up and goes for a senton splash, but so Sequoia gets the knees up. We come back from the break to see so Sequoia puts Kevin Owens on the rope on the top ropes. So Sequoia sets up for a superplex, but Kevin Owens fights him off and elbows him in the head. Kevin Owens gets down and charged, but so Sequoia floors him with a small drop for a near fall. Kevin Owens gets up in the corner. So Sequoia charged for an avalanche, but he hits the ring post when Kevin Owens moves. Kevin Owens then takes him down with a DDT. Kevin Owens punches back at the enforcer, but So Sequoia overcuts him. So Sequoia charged, but he hits the ring post. Shoulder first when Kevin Owens moves. Kevin Owens goes for a stunner, but So Sequoia punches him off. So Kevin Owens punches Jimmy Uso off the apron. Kevin Owens super kicks So Sequoia and knocks him down, knocks him into the corner. Kevin Owens connects with a swanton bomb, but Jimmy 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 Uso breaks it up. Jimmy Uso punches away at him, and then referee calls for the bell. The winner by disqualification, Kevin Owens. This match was fine for what it was. Jimmy Uso and Sol Sequoia attacks Kevin Owens. Jimmy Uso sends him into the ring steps. Sol Sequoia clears the commentary table and attacks Kevin Owens. So Sequoia sets up for a big splash through the table, but Sami Zayn runs down for the save. Sami Zayn attacks Jimmy Uso from behind and takes out So Sequoia. Sami Zayn grabs a steel chair and swings it at So Sequoia, but he runs away. Jimmy Uso also avoids a chair shot and runs into the crowd. The crowd loudly chants Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens is in the ring, but down in the corner. Sami Zayn looks at his longtime friend and rival and offers a hand, a hand to help him up. Kevin Owens thinks about it, but pulls, him, pulls, him, pulls himself out of the ring and walks off. The crowd lolly boos. Um, Sami Zayn puts his head, his head down in sadness. Okay, coming up next, we hear from Bobby Lashley following his encounter with Uncle Howdy on SmackDown. Commercial break. WWE 2K23 is coming. Can't wait for WWE 2K23, in my opinion. Replay are showing of Uncle Howdy attacking Bobby Lashley on SmackDown. Lashley took him out, but the lights went off before he could finish Uncle Howdy off. Bobby Lashley says he came to SmackDown to face Bray Wyatt like a man. Instead, he sent Uncle How he sent out Uncle Howdy. To do his dirty work. Lashley dares Bray Wyatt to face him like a man. Bray Wyatt videos flashes in the background. Who cares about that in my opinion. But Lashley doesn't notice. Byron Saxon is backstage with Carmella. And asks her about facing Bianca Belair. Carmella says Adam Pearce only gave her that match. To get her out of his non-existent hair. Carmella says she's embraced. Bianca Belair, embarrassed Bianca Belair. Chelsea Green walks up and puts Carmella over. Carmella, Carmella says Chelsea Green should not be in her should be in her quarter tonight. Um, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair makes her way to the ring, so we go to commercial break. Now I guarantee you that Carmella and Chelsea Green team team name should be Team CC. That's only my opinion. Now, so we get a non-title match. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair versus Carmella accompanied by Chelsea Green. This match was terrible. Rear Re uh, no, I'm sorry, not Rear Ripley. Replay are shown of Bianca Belair confronting Asuka, her WrestleMania 39 pointy last week. Carmella knocked Bianca Belair into Asuka. Carmella takes Bianca Belair down, but Bianca Belair easily kips up and wags, her, wags a finger at her. Bianca Belair hooks a side headlock. Carmella whips her off, but Bianca Belair easily shoulder tackles her down. Bianca Belair cartwheels her over. Cartwheels her over here. 
A word. Bianca Bella leaves Frog's hurry and charges, but Carmella pulls the ropes down to get her out of the ring. Carmella kicks her away and snaps her off the ropes. Carmella takes her down by the hair to taunt the crowd. Bianca Belair leaves Frog's hurry and taunts her. Bianca Belair backflips over her and drop kicks her down. Bianca Belair gets the crowd going and charges Carmella. And charges Carmella grabs her, but Bianca Belair knocks her back. Carmella rips Bianca Belair off the middle rope and slams her down. So we go to commercial break. Picture and picture commercial break. Carmella touches the crowd for a bit. Bianca Belair gets up in a corner and bounces Carmella off the turnbuckles. Carmella quickly pulls Bianca Belair down into the middle turnbuckle. Carmella elbows away at, at the head, and Bianca Belair collapses to the mat. Carmella puts her into an opponent in the opposite corner and moonwalks before hitting a Bronco Buster for a for a two count. Carmella applies a chin lock. Bianca Belair fights up and backs Carmella into the corner before throwing her down. Bianca Belair goes for a sidewalk slam, but Carmella gets out. Carmella boots her down for a two count. Carmella attacks the back and close lines her down. Carmella continues to taunt the crowd before fighting off a comeback attempt from Bianca Belair. Carmella hits a snap mirror and applies a chin lock. Bianca, I'm sorry, back from the break, Carmella chinches the chin lock. Bianca Belair fights up and goes for a scoop slam, but Carmella slides off and pulls her down by the by the braid. Carmella goes to the top rope and hits a high cross body block, but Bianca Belair rolls through and powers her up. Carmella gets out and pulls the braid, but Bianca Belair cuts her off. Carmella goes for a head sister takeover, but Bianca Belair counters with a backbreaker. Bianca Belair hang, hits a hang, handspring standing moves up, but Chelsea Green distracts the referee. Bianca Belair pulls Chelsea Green into the ring, and as she does, Carmella super kicks Bianca Belair for a near fall. Carmella pulls Bianca Belair up to... Carmella pulls Bianca Belair up, but Bianca Belair powers her to the corner and shoulders her. Bianca Belair climbs the ropes and does a ten punches. Uh, and does the ten punches. Bianca Belair backflips and sides Carmella up. Chelsea Green distracts, distracts, so Bianca Belair chases her out of the ring and throws her over the barricade. Bianca Belair gets in the ring. But Carmella rolls her up with her feet on the ropes. This is this still isn't enough as Bianca Belair kicks out before three. Bianca Belair quickly hits the kiss of death for the win for the victory. The winner by the winner of the match, Bianca Belair. This match was terrible. Chelsea Green attacks Bianca Belair from behind. Carmella and Chelsea Green double team Bianca Belair. Asuka makes her makes her makes her way to the ring, not dressed to compete. Oscar stares at Carmella and Chelsea Green. Oscar spits, spits blue mist into Chelsea's Chelsea Green's eyes. Carmella managed to escape it. Carmella and Chelsea Green run away. Oscar and Bianca Belair stare at each other, stare at each other before looking at the WrestleMania 39 sign. Okay, Sami Zayn is walking backstage when he finds Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn says he doesn't know what else he has to do. The, does Kevin Owens see what he's saying? The bloodline is too much for one person. Their history is com, complic, com, complicated. They don't need to be best friends, but they have the same objective. Neither of them can do it alone. They can do it together. Sami Zayn begs him to listen to him. Sami Zayn says he knows how the bloodline works. Kevin Owens says he remem he remembers. Sami Zayn stalks his claim in this arena. Kevin Owens remembers. There are too much for one man to fight. Kevin Owens has fought them for eight months. Maybe they could do this together. But Kevin Owens doesn't want to do this do this with him. 
Maybe he was wrong. Maybe Sami Zayn can't just go back to Roman Reigns. If he strokes his ego enough, Kevin Owens tells Sami Zayn to just leave him out of it. Sami Zayn looks dejected and walks off. Seth Freakin' Rollins and Logan Paul go face to face next. Commercial break. Video. Video Ripley. So Rhea Ripley hype video for her resume and 39 match against Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, Rhea, I'm sorry, Rhea play are, are showing of Seth freaking Rollins attacking the Miz on Miz TV. Seth Rollins took Miz's phone and called Logan, Logan Paul to go him into coming to tonight's Raw. So we get Seth freaking Rollins and Logan Paul go face to face. The crowd was the best part of the the, the crowd was the best throughout the entire segment. The Miz is in the ring in preparation for his hosting duties at WrestleMania 39. He he's going to moderate this event. Miz cannot let his bias get in the way. If anyone has an issue with that, they should have used his phone. To set it up. Miz introduced introduce social media sens sensation Logan Paul. Logan Paul comes out to loud booze. Miz goes for a handshake. But Paul sidesteps him. Burn it down. Seth freaking Rollins comes out to the ring in one of his most ridiculous trench coat yet. It's, wet, it's, re it's red and white. Making him look like a pe peyudo candy cane. The crowd loudly sings Seth Rollins' theme song. Miz holds a holds a hand up and asks if they know what that means. When he when his hand goes up, their mouth goes shut. They don't listen. They don't listen and continue to sing. Miz says they need to listen to him. Seth Rollins pulls puts micro puts Miz's microphone down. And lets the crowd continue to sing. Pa Logan Paul says to Boston that, that this segment has a time limit. So they need to shut up. This does this does stop the crowd from singing. But they instead loudly boo Logan Paul. The crowd, the crowd now goes back to singing. This is amazing. Seth Rollins greets Boston, Massachusetts and tells them to look at what the cat Drags in, live in the flesh. He's grace. He's gracing us with his presence. The social media star Logan Paul. The crowd loudly. The crowd boos Logan Paul. A Lo a Logan Paul sub chant picks up. Seth Rollins says it sounds like Boston knows what Logan Paul is, even though they had their runs in for the past couple of months. They have haven't been. Formally introduced. Servan says he is the revolutionary and the visionary. He is Seth freaking Rollins. The crowd sings his song again. Logan Paul says he knows who Seth Rollins is. The guy he dumped at the Royal Rumble and stumps at a stump at Elimination Chamber. Logan Paul doesn't know what Seth Rollins' problem is with him. Maybe because he he embarrassed him twice or did more than one year that that than he done in twenty. Logan Paul is better at his, at this than Seth Rollins is. Logan Paul is on his way in. Seth Rollins is on the way out. Logan Paul works harder, not smarter. If Logan Paul were Seth Rollins, he would he wouldn't like him either. The Miz says Logan Paul makes some good points. Hey, you know what? You Logan Paul champ picks up. Seth Rollins says Logan Paul does make some great points, but what he's missing is none of none of this. None of that is is the reason they don't like him. Seth Rollins says the people don't like Logan Paul because he's a scum of of the earth. Logan Paul is a coward, a troll, a fraud, and a human dumpster fire. They don't want Logan Paul in their house. The crowd loudly cheers. 
Seth Rollins says Boston didn't come here to see them. My man's words. Boston is here to see him get his pound and flesh. The time for talk is over. It's time to fight. Logan Paul stars stares intensely at Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins takes his jacket off. Miz puts a stop to this. At the moderator, it's his job to make sure they don't fight tonight. Logan Paul tells the Miz not to put words in his mouth. If he wants to fight Seth Rollins tonight in Boston, then he's going to do it. If Logan Paul wants something, he's going to do it. Logan Paul isn't going to do that. Logan Paul doesn't fight for free. Logan Paul is a premium act and is definitely not give, not going to fight for free in Boston. The crowd boos Logan Paul. Um, Logan, the crowd boos Logan Paul. Logan Paul tells them to get real. Did he just really say that? Really? Anyway, however, if the stage and the money were bigger, if they were somewhere with more star power, he consider it. Miz says he, the he's the host of WrestleMania 39 and could make Seth Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins versus Logan Paul at WrestleMania 39 happen. Um, Seth Rollins asks if he could really take that, take, if he could really make that happen. Seth Freakin' Rollins asks what they waiting for and throw Miz out of the ring. Logan Paul attacks Seth Rollins and goes for a stomp. Seth Rollins avoids it and tackles him to the corner. Miz jumps on Seth Rollins' back, but Seth Rollins super kicks him down. Logan Paul then knocks Seth Rollins out with a big right hand. Logan Paul says when Seth Rollins wakes up, he should let him know, he should let him know about WrestleMania 39. Logan Paul says bye bye, you know what, and throws the microphone at him. The crowd was the best part throughout the entire what's the best part throughout the entire segment. Okay, John Cena returns later tonight. We see we we'll also take a look at face to face between the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes on SmackDown. Replay our showing of the VIP lounge segment with with the MVP and Brock Lesnar. MVP accidentally splat, spl splat Brock Lesnar drink in his in his face after it, it proved to be true to be too strong for him. Brock Lesnar draws MVP with with an F5. Omos makes his way to the ring alongside MVP. He'll be in action against Dolph Ziggler next. So we go to commercial break. So we get Omos accompanied by MVP versus Dolph Ziggler. This match was squashed. This was a squash match. Mustafa Ali is at ringside holding up a sign that says, We love Dolph. Earlier today, Mustafa Ali told Dolph Ziggler that he got him a match against Omos. The bell rings and Dolph Ziggler yells at Mustafa Ali at ringside. Dolph Ziggler sidesteps Omos and jumps on Omos back for a sleeper hole. Omos slams him off in charge, but Dolph Ziggler elbows him back. Ziggler boosts Omos and charges, but um, but Omos big boosts him, big boosts him down. Omos hits a tree slam for the victory, the winner of the match. Omos Dolph Ziggler lost this match in forty five seconds, but this match was squash. Anyway, MVP says all the hype he need to, to hype up the WrestleMania thirty nine match between Brock Lesnar and Omos. It's what Omos just did. Brock Lesnar should have never put his hands on MVP. The Nigerian Giant would time would tame the beast at WrestleMania 39. That match that match at WrestleMania 39 is gonna be terrible between Brock Lesnar and Omos. That's gonna be terrible. Maxine Dupree, Mason, Mansour are talking about Otis. Baron Corbin comes up and thinks they're they talking about him. Corbin says he he has been on a string of bad luck and need that. They tell him they're take, talking about Otis. Corbin asks what Otis has that he doesn't. They say things that things like charisma and the and the it factor as well as hair. Corbin says he looks like Bruce Willis. Mansour shouts that Corbin is a drug draw law day. 
Trog, Lute, and and now Bruce Willis. Maxine Maxine says if Corbin can take out the short short ugly one, Gable, she'll consider taking him on. Okay, the Judgment Day makes their way to the ring. Commercial break. Jimmy Uso is tape is taping uh, backstage. So Sequoia and Paul Heyman are with with him. Paul Heyman says Jimmy Uso is going to be the one that solves Sami Zayn's problem. Jimmy Uso will make sure the Trouble Chief never hears the same hears the name Sami Zayn again. To do this with all the pressure of having to bring Jay Uso back to the bloodline by the end of the week, and and it's impressive. If Jimmy doesn't, if Jimmy doesn't, the Tribal Chief won't blame Heyman. Or so it's Coil. The Tribal Chief will blame Jimmy Uso. Sami Zayn will face Jimmy Uso later tonight. <clears throat> so we get Finn Balor accompanied by The Judgment Day versus Johnny Gargano accompanied by Dexter Loomis. Now this this was a good match. This was a good match. So yeah. Um, the bell rings and they lock up. Finn Balor quickly takes him down. Finn Balor applies a side headlock, but Johnny Gargano whips him off. Finn Balor quickly show tackles him. Gargano takes Finn Balor down and applies a hammerlock. Finn Balor gets to the ropes and elbows him in the face. Finn Balor applies an armbar. Johnny Gargano fights up and hits an arm drag into the armbar. Finn Balor fights up and rakes the face. Finn Balor clubs him in the in the back of the of the back back it. Finn Balor clubs him in the back and apply an armbar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gargan- Gargano fights out and kicks him back, but Finn Balor quickly hits hits the ropes and close lines him down. Finn Balor puts Johnny Gargano in the corner and shoulders him. Finn Balor whips him to the opposite corner, but Gargano boots him back. Um, Gargano hits a running hurt Karana and drop kick drop kicks him out of the ring. Finn Balor gets gets started. Startled by Dexter Loomis, so Gargano tells him with a su- takes him with a suicide dive. So we go to commercial break, pitch and pitcher, commercial break. <laughs> Gargano attacks Finn Balor at ringside before getting him into the ring for a sliding kick. Gargano picks up a two count. Finn Balor begs him off and goes for a handshake. Gargano kicks Finn Balor and punches him. Finn Balor rolls through a sunset flip and drop kicks Gargano for a two count. Finn Balor knocks Gargano into the ropes and distracts the referee. Ray Ribby punches Gargano in the face and Finn Balor picks up a two count. Finn Balor applies the chin lock. Gargano tries to fight up, but Finn Balor takes him down for a two count. Finn Balor stops Gargano. We come back from the break to see Finn Balor continue to stomp Gargano. Finn Balor goes for a leaping stomp, but Gargano boots him in the face. Finn Balor reverses a whip, but Gargano ducks a clothesline and hits a running cross body. Gargano takes Finn Balor down and hits a disgust clothesline. Gargano knocks Finn Balor out of the ring with a step up in security. Gargano land on his land on the apron after Finn Balor avoids the plancha. Gargano hits Finn Balor with a slingshot spear for a near fall. Gargano hits Finn Balor with a double knees in the corner and goes for a super kick. But Finn Balor hits a sling blade. Finn Balor sets up for a, for a wool drop kick. But Johnny Gargano super kicks him twice for a near fall. Gargano hits the ropes and goes for a head scissors to take over. But Finn Balor counters into a falling elbow drop for a two count. Finn Balor mounts Gargano and punches away at him. Finn Balor talks trash, so Gargano rolls him up for a two count. Gargano boosts Finn Balor in the face. Ray Ripley distracts the referee, so Gargano hits Dominic Mysterio with a cannonball off the apron. Gargano gets in the ring, but Finn Balor takes him down and hits a double stomp to the midsection. Finn Balor hits a woo drop kick and goes goes to the top rope. 
You Think You Know Me, Edge Music Hits, to a huge ovation. Damien Priest and Rhea Ripley wait for Edge on the stage. Edge comes through the crowd and shoves Finn Balor off the top rope into the ropes. Gargano hits Finn Balor with, with one final beat for the victory. The winner of the match, Johnny Gargano. This is this was a um good match. Dexter Loomis takes Damian Priest out at ringside. Edge gets in the ring and splits Finn Balor in half with a huge beer. Edge shouts, this is not over. Edge leaves through the crowd. So we get a video package. Undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns and Cody went face-to-face on SmackDown. So Nikki Cross will face Piper Nivens next. Commercial break. This may... This May, WWE King and Queen of the Ring returns on May 27th from Jaradai, Saudi Arabia. Byron Sasson catches up with Edge backstage. Edge says two weeks ago, Finn Balor cost him a match that he shouldn't have lost. No disrespect to Johnny Gargano, but Finn Balor shouldn't have lost tonight. Edge is, is tired of the attacks. Edge will be in the center of the ring next week. Edge tells Finn Balor to meet him there. All right, so we get Nikki Cross and Piper Nevis. This this was a terrible match. Nikki Cross attacks Piper Nevis before she gets in the ring. Nikki Cross jumps on Piper Nevis back and pulls that pulls the hair. Nikki Cross knocks Piper Nevis back. Piper Nevis tells the referee to ring the bell. The match begins. Nikki Cross hits Piper Nevis with a cross body block. Piper Nevis gets out of the ring and looks furious. Piper Nevis gets on the apron, gets on the apron and, a, and head busts Nikki Cross back. Nikki Cross hits a drop kick and a throat thirst. Piper Nevis quickly hits Nikki Cross, hits, a, hits Nikki Cross with a mid miss black hole slam for the victory. The winner of the match, Piper Nevins. This match was, this match was um terrible. Piper Nevins keeps rubbing her face in pain after Nikki Cross keeps raking it. We go backstage to see Rick Boogs trying to lift a truck with no success. Elias walks up and Rick Boogs freaks out that he doesn't have his notes. Elias says Rick Boogs needs to do things on his own. Elias tells Rick Boots to go over the brasserie and says, I want to fight you. Rick Boots does. Bronson Reed comes over to Elias and says he'll fight Elias next week. It's Elias' fuel. Elias asks Rick Boots what he said, and Rick Boots says he told Bronson Reed that Elias wants to fight him. Elias says Rick Boots has a lot to learn. So we go. So we get John Cena returns commercial break. Becky G will perform "America the Beautiful" on WrestleMania 39 Night One on Saturday, April first. So we get John Cena returns to Monday Night Raw. This was the best segment throughout the entire show. This this segment was gold, and John Cena was speaking nothing but facts. John Cena music comes out. He and he comes out to the stage to end. Enormous pop. Enormous pop. John Cena looks into the camera and says, His regular cameraman, STU, has the day off. STU should have should be here to hear this. This is good. John Cena gets in the ring and takes a microphone. Before he can say anything, the United States champion, Austin Theory, makes his way to the ring. Austin Theory gets in the ring and encourages the crowd encourage the crowd to chant for John Cena. So they ain't waste no time on this segment. They just got right into it. Anyway, let me continue. Theory says he has all the respect in the world for John Cena. The people might not know this, but Theory only con- only became a WWE superstar because of John Cena. John Cena inspires him with his hustle, loyalty, and respect. Theory, thank, Theory thanks John Cena for that. Theory is coming out here with a gift for John Cena. This is a gift from the bottom of his heart. A bigger than a movie role Cena will do. 
it's the gift of John Cena and Austin Theory one on one in the grand state grandest stage of them all for the United States Championship. John Cena thinks John Cena thinks about it and simply says no. John Cena says he took a second to think about it and thought it's over. Cena is not interested in Theory's gift because he hasn't earned the right to give it. Cena has been watching and listening to Theory. Cena just doesn't care. Just like every, every single person. We we don't care about Theory. Why? They don't care about Theory because they don't believe him. They don't believe Theory because Theory doesn't believe Theory. That's a bar right there. Theory is a genetic kid out here in fancy sneaker wearing sunglasses indoors. But he has no heart. John Cena points out a sign that says, Austin Theory is a John Cena wannabe. John Cena is a ghost of Christmas feature theory. Theory is, is the ruthless aggression praise. Ruthless aggression among almost got him fired. It was a great opportunity, but John Cena didn't believe in him. Theory has received numerous opportunities, but it's not enough. Theory has no heart and soul. The people are here tonight out of respect for the past 20 years. They believe in John Cena. They, didn't, they don't believe in Theory. Theory is a pair of trunks away from being a jabroni. John Cena is going to say something good now. Theory has the best name in WWE history. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker. There are no names better than Austin Theory because that's exactly what he is. A Theory, and Theory should be should be great. And Theory has everything WWE. Exactly. As ex cultive looking looks for. In theory, everyone here should be here to see him, but no one cares. Theory is waiting it's wasting their time. So no behalf of Boston, Massachusetts. We we would like to give Theory a gift. John Cena tells Theory to shut up, turn around and get out of the ring, and they let him walk out. Of here in one piece. A lolly John Cena chant picks up. Theory, Theory says he's not going anywhere. Just like the ball spot on John on Cena's head. Isn't it? John Cena takes off his hat and shows it off. Cena says he's proud of the center circuit. Theory says Cena has a reverse on everything. Theory sees all... These shirts for John Cena that says, never give up. Is John Cena saying no? Is John Cena saying that he's giving up? That has says respect. Where is the respect for the people? John Cena has, has a golden ticket against the greatest United States champion at WrestleMania 39. And he's going to give up. Where's the hustle? Where's the loyalty? Where's the respect? Don't don't they want to see John Cena at WrestleMania 39? Theory tells them to shut up because John Cena says said no. Theory realized that Cena was a childhood hero, but you don't want to meet your hero because they disappoint. They disappoint when you do. Um, John Cena puts his head head down. Cena says he'd rather be bald than have them pipe. Pipe and fake crowd noise because no one cares. Theory is a dumb son of a you know what. John Cena didn't say no because he is giving up. He said no to save Theory because he's not ready. If they have a match at WrestleMania 39 and Theory lose, he lose everything. He does. He well he's done. If Theory wins at WrestleMania 39, he still lose everything. Theory can win the day, but he'll have to go out the go out the money Monday after all along and, and explain. The audience will eat their eat theory alive. They they see what he sees. 
Theory is full of crap. Cena says Theory really left him on no choice because he brought the crowd into it. Now Cena has to ask them to see what they what they're going to do. Cena turns to Boston and thanks his family for being here tonight because it's, it means a lot to him. Cena asks for help on his decision. Do they want to see Austin 3 versus John Cena at WrestleMania 39? The crowd, the crowd lolly cheers a yes. Chant starts up. Cena says his hair isn't just going. So is his hearing. Cena asks again, and they respond. Cena says they he may not care about Theory, but he'll never give up on them. Cena tells Theory to remember this moment because he just made the biggest mistake of his life. At WrestleMania 39, he's going to be Austin Theory versus John Cena. John Cena wishes him luck because he doesn't have the brains, heart, or, or balls. <clears throat> John Cena music starts to play, but Cena stops it. Cena says he really needs to work on that last bit. Cena walks off, but stops. In no way, shape, or form is Austin Theory ready for WrestleMania 39. But Boston, Massachusetts deserve to see someone. That's it. That is. John Cena introduced the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes comes out to a big reception. John Cena and Cody Rhodes embrace on the stage. John Cena holds Cody Rhodes' arm up. Now, that was the best segment throughout the entire show. That segment was gold. But Austin Theory came back with a came back with a punchline of a came back with a came back on John Cena with with a punchline of his own. <clears throat> so we so we're gonna get John John Cena versus Austin Theory versus John Cena at WrestleMania thirty nine. But that segment itself was the segment of the night, and that segment was gold, and I like it. Kathy Kelly is finding Sami Zayn backstage. She asks for his comments about. Facing Jimmy Uso and being rejected by Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn says Kevin Owens is right about what happened at War Games. But everything has changed now. The one guy who had his back through thick and thin. And Jimmy Uso now has to take him out. If Jimmy Uso can't take him out. Then it's the end of him. <clears throat> Sami Zayn has to see the end of Roman Reigns. Tonight will not be Jimmy Uso's night. Shush, shush, please. Chad Gable and Otis makes their way to the ring. Commercial break. Chad Gable accompanied by Otis versus versus Baron Corbin. Um, I did not care about this match. This match was god awful. Corbin takes it to Gable at the start of the match and apply a torture rack. Chad Gable gets out and takes him down before hitting a run a rolling German suplex. Chad Gable goes to the top. But lands on his feet. When Corbin moves, Corbin hits a chosen backbreaker. Corbin talks some trash. So Gable clips the leg and applies an ankle lock for the victory. The winner of the match, Chad Gable. This match was this match was got awful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Video package. Becky Lynch and Lita defeat damage control to win the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. After an assist from Trish Stratus. Coming up next, we we see the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions with Trish Stratus. So, so we go to commercial break. The Miz and Maurice star in a Top Gun Maverick WrestleMania 39 commercial. <clears throat> it's official. Seth Freaking Ross will take on Logan Paul at WrestleMania 39. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Becky Lynch and Lita come to the ring. Becky Lynch says when, when a couple of legends stand side by side, they don't miss. Lita says when Becky Lynch gave her the opportunity to go for the tag team titles, you have to cho- you, you have two choices. Pass it on, pass on it, or make history as they do. As as they do. Dakota Kai and Neil Scott don't make it easy, but they may work. Make they made it worth it, and you deserve it. Champ picks up. 
Lita says as Be- Lita says as Becky Lynch friend and tag team partner, she thanks her. There is a special equalizer equalizer they haven't think yet. Haven't haven't think yet. <clears throat> WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus makes her way to the ring. Trish Stratus says she's so happy to see Becky Lynch and Lita as champions. She had to calm out and put a stop to Bailey. Damage Control makes their way to the ring. Bailey says they all got what they all got was another trophy for their case at their expense, but she sees through them. Trish Stratus says she can go. From retired to was retired very quickly. Trish Stratus says she she loved to shut Bailey up and and challenge Damage Control to a match at WrestleMania 39. Bailey accepts, which seems to upset Eel Sky and Dakota Kai. And Eel Sky and uh, Dakota and Eel Sky tries to attack Trish Stratus and Lita, but they quickly knocks out knocks out of the ring. Um. Becky Lynch and Bailey go face to face. Becky Lynch blocks a right hand and punches her. Lita and Trish Rash each get a punch in and damage control retreats. Um I'm th- I'm just saying this right now. They need to break up damage control. All three of them need to go their own separate ways. Um I don't want to so I got a funny feeling that Damage Control is going to win at WrestleMania 39. I don't want to see no more Damage Control, man. They need to break up immediately. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And Showstopper TV said it himself in this live stream. So, shout out to Showstopper TV for saying that. So, we got the schedule for next week. Edge calls out Finn Balor about WrestleMania 39. Elias versus Bronson Reed. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair versus Chelsea Green in a non-title match. That match is going to be terrible next week. Jimmy Uso is walking backstage with Saul Sequoia. He'll face Sami Zayn next. So we go to commercial break. Okay. So we get the undisputed WWE tag team tag team champion Jimmy Uso accompanied by Saul Sequoia um, versus Sami Zayn. Now this main event match, um, it was just decent, decent main event. It was just decent. <clears throat> the bell rings and Sami Zayn takes Jimmy Uso down with with some punches. Sami Zayn clotheslines him over the top rope. Jimmy Uso quickly punches Sami Zayn and sends him into the barricade. Sami Zayn hits a back body drop into the timekeeper's area. So we go to commercial break. Picture in picture, commercial break. Sami Zayn takes it to Jimmy Uso at ringside before getting him in the ring. Sami Zayn comes off the second rope. But Jimmy Uso uppercuts him out of the out of midair. Jimmy Uso stomps away at Sami Zayn and knocks him to the apron. Jimmy Uso hits a su- a suplex on the apron, and Sami Zayn falls to the floor. Jimmy takes it to Sami Zayn for for the for the reminder for remainder. We come back from the break to see Jimmy Uso talking trash to Sami Zayn. Fight back, fights back with some right hands. Jimmy Uso reverses a whip to the corner, but Sami Zayn boosts him. Sami Zayn kicks him in the face a few times and hits a tornado DDT for a near fall. Sami Zayn comes off the top rope with a crossbody block for another two count. Sami Zayn continues to fight him, but Jimmy Uso sends him out of the ring. So Sequoia lurks nearby. But the referee isn't having it. The referee ejects Sol Sequoia from ringside. Sami Zayn hits Jimmy with a blue thunder bomb for a near fall. So we go to commercial break. Pitcher and pitcher commercial break. Sami Zayn cannot believe it and, and goes for a suplex. Jimmy Uso gets out and overcuts him. Jimmy Uso chops the chest, but Sami Zayn leaps over him. Sami, I mean Jimmy Uso pushes Sami Zayn into the ropes and hits a pop up Samoan drop for a near fall. Sami Zayn gets to his feet and they trade punches. Sami Zayn blocks a kick and spans him, but Jimmy Uso hits an insiguri. Jimmy Uso grabs Sami Zayn by the hair and pulls him up 
to his feet. Jimmy Uso puts him on the top rope and punches him. Sami Zayn fights off a superplex attempt and on loads with clubs. Sami Zayn hits a sunset flip powerbomb for a near fall. Back from the final break of the evening. Sami Zayn goes to the top rope, but Jimmy Uso kicks him in the face. Sami Zayn pushes him away and jumps and jumps, but Jimmy Uso super kicks him out of midair. All of a sudden, Jay Uso makes his way to the ring through the crowd. Jimmy Uso looks at looks at his brother. Jimmy Uso ducks a Huluba kick and punches away at him. Sami Zayn quickly rolls him up for the victory. The winner of the match, Sami Zayn, this was a decent main event. And this was my favorite part right here. Sami Zayn gets out of the ring and stands in the entryway. Jay Uso gets in the ring and looks at his brother. Jimmy Uso looks disappointed. Jay Uso appreciates his brother and has tears in his eyes. Jay Uso puts his hand on Jimmy's shoulder before grabbing his shirt. Jay Uso is fighting back his fighting back his emotions before walking off on his brother. Jay Uso leaves in the, leaves the ring and approaches Sami Zayn. Jay Uso looks at Jimmy Uso before approaching Sami Zayn. Jay says, "I trust you." Jay Uso embraces Sami Zayn to a huge ovation. Jimmy Uso draws a knee to draws a knee. Sami Zayn is fired up. Jay Uso holds one finger up as as does Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn says, "It's not too late, Jimmy Uso." Jay then super kicks Sami Zayn down. The crowd cannot believe it. Jay Uso shouts, "If Sami Zayn really thought he was going to choose him." Um, Jay Uso throws Sami Zayn to the ring, and the Usos overteam him. So Sequoia runs down and joins in. Cody Rhodes quickly runs down to to the ring and and stands over Sami Zayn to stands over Sami Zayn to protect him. They the the bloodline box off. That was a good way to end Money in Raw, but this should have been Kevin Owens, and Jay Uso chose his brother. Over his friends. That was the right decision by Jay Uso. He chose family over his friends. And I like that. This was a good way to end Money Night Raw. And and Money and Money Night Raw goes off the air. And like I said before, Money Night Raw was a five out of ten. And that's all I have to say. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE Raw review and highlights. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on WWE Monday Night Raw. Because Monday Night Raw was a 5 out of 10. The only two things I enjoyed was the the, the, the segment of John Cena and also the three segment. That, that was the best segment of the night. That segment was go between John Cena and Austin Theory. So we're going to get John Cena. So we're going to get John Cena versus Austin Theory at WrestleMania 39. And... And then the end, and then I like the ending of Monday Night Raw, where Jay Uso chose his chose his family over friends, and I like that. And that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my um Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch and Discord down below in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my WWE NXT Roadblock review and highlights. This your boy, B Boy Fast John TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. KFG Crew, KFG Kings, Too Sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.